Mr. Speaker, I am Kiru Kaunye Jota. I represent the people of Isukwatumunu Federal Constituency. I am from Abia State. Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues, move that a bill for an act to alter provision of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, to create additional special seats for women in the federal and state uh, legislative houses uh, and for related uh, matters, uh, HB 1301. Uh, this bill is being sponsored by Right Honorable Speaker, all the women in the House, and majority of the men here. Mr. Speaker, I move that this bill be read second time. Have a national chairman, let a woman be the vice. If you have a secretary, let a woman be the vice. Of course, why can't a woman be a secretary of a party? We have professors, we have people who are who have made it in their various fields. And so we are say we, we are lobbying for Wales report that recommended 20% of women inclusion in party uh, formations. We were shocked. During the voting, we agreed that we are on the same page that it will pass. It's a constitutional review, it was a constitutional review matter. We wanted to include the party inside the uh, constitutional alteration we were doing at that, at that time. Guess what? It was only the women, about four, four, four of us that voted for. All the men turned 360 degrees and voted against this. I don't know what informed their decision, but we lost it. That was how that Ways uh, panel report on inclusion of the women uh, was buried, not even died. Anyway, so now the question is is this piece of legislation a motion? No, it's a B that when it passes, the parties will not have option because that special seat that's allotted for women, if you don't like a woman, any party will bring and the party will win because it will be justice according to law that we are seeking to pass. Other countries have made this concerted effort to think outside the box. How will it work? And I believe that this is the only way to work in this country because you have a lot of people that you agree with something on principle and then the next day, people talk to them and they change their mind. So, but if it's law, and I can tell you that the president has directed the, um, some ministers to lodge with parliament to see that women are included. And so, we are lobbying everybody to make sure that this one passes. So, the issue of party not being able to feel anybody, party A doesn't want to feel the woman. Party B will feel, feeling the woman. So that's, we have many parties. So if this one does not want or does not have, because how, how would you tell me that in a state there's no one woman that can represent any constituency in the House of Assembly? That's to tell you the depth of exclusion. 